Have you ever wondered why planes don't fly over the Tibetan Plateau? A vast, rugged expanse, the Tibetan Plateau is a unique geographical marvel, often referred to as the roof of the world. Towering peaks, deep valleys, and an average elevation of over 14,000 feet make it a truly breathtaking spectacle. Yet, despite its allure, this lofty region remains conspicuously absent from the roots of commercial airlines. A curious anomaly that has sparked many an eyebrow. Is it the intimidating heights, or perhaps the harsh climate? Or could there be something more to this mystery? The Tibetan Plateau, a majestic realm shrouded in intrigue, continues to bewilder, posing questions that yearn for answers. Intrigued? Let's unravel the reasons behind this aviation anomaly. The first and foremost reason is altitude. The Tibetan Plateau, often referred to as the roof of the world, sits at an average altitude of over 4,000 meters. Now imagine trying to navigate an aircraft at such heights. It's not just a matter of cruising at high altitudes, but also the challenge it presents when it comes to descent, especially in emergencies. You see, the higher the altitude, the thinner the air. This means that an aircraft's wings generate less lift, making it more difficult to control during descent. And when emergencies arise, every second counts. The ability to descend quickly and safely becomes paramount. But with the thin air over the Tibetan Plateau, this becomes a formidable challenge. Moreover, the high altitude limits the number of airports available for emergency landings. The few that exist are nestled between towering peaks and deep valleys, making them hard to reach and fraught with danger. So the high altitude creates a significant risk for air travel. Next, let's talk about the lack of landing space. Imagine you're a pilot cruising at 30,000 feet and suddenly you're faced with an emergency. Your first thought would be to find a suitable place to land. Now, envisage the vast expanse of the Tibetan Plateau beneath you. It's an unforgiving landscape of towering peaks and deep valleys. There isn't much flat terrain, and certainly not enough to accommodate an emergency landing for a large aircraft. Now you might think, what about airports? Well, the Tibetan Plateau, despite its immense size, is notably sparse in this regard. It's not just about the scarcity of airports, but their quality too. Most of them lack the essential facilities and infrastructure to handle an emergency landing. This dearth of suitable landing spots and airports makes the Tibetan Plateau a hazardous region for flight operations. So, it's not just about the towering altitude or the freezing temperatures, but the very tangible danger of having nowhere to safely land in case of an emergency. Without safe places to land, flying over this region becomes a gamble. Last but not least, we have weather and fuel concerns. The mountainous terrain of the Tibetan Plateau is notorious for causing increased turbulence. You see, these mountains disrupt the airflow, creating erratic and unpredictable wind patterns. This means a bumpier ride for any aircraft daring enough to traverse this region. But there's more to it than just a rocky ride. The cold temperatures of the plateau present an entirely different kind of challenge. The jet fuel used in aircraft has a specific freezing point and the temperatures in this region can easily drop below that. Now, imagine a plane in mid-flight with its fuel starting to freeze. It's a scenario that no pilot wants to face, potentially leading to engine failures and other dangerous situations. From turbulence to freezing fuel, the weather here is not a friend to aviation. In conclusion, planes avoid the Tibetan Plateau due to a combination of factors. The high altitude of the plateau poses significant challenges for aircraft, including difficulty with safe descents in emergency situations. The lack of suitable landing spaces further complicates matters, making emergency landings almost impossible. The terrain also contributes to increased turbulence, making flights over this region particularly uncomfortable. Lastly, the cold temperatures of the plateau can freeze jet fuel, leading to potentially dangerous situations. So the next time you're on a flight and notice you're not flying over the Tibetan Plateau, you'll know exactly why.